Happy Sunday everyone and welcome back to a brand new I Rate Your Teams video. For cheap, fast and reliable foot coins, check out u7buy.com. There is a link in the description and use the code HABER to get yourself a discount on all of your orders. We of course have had the release of Foot Birthday on uh, Friday. Uh, the promo has shown us some really nice cards actually. Uh, not Fell and Mendy. Uh, one card in particular that I don't think is getting enough hype, I'm not going to lie, is this a Naki Williams card. For only 400k, this looks like one of the best strikers that you can get in the game. He's got a really good body type. I can just tell you that from using his Rule Breakers card. Uh, Five-star skills now with a four-star weak foot. Uh, left-footed as well. Just a, uh, Sorry, right-footed now from left-footed, sorry. Very, very nice card. I, I'm surprised he's this cheap. I thought this card would be at least eight 900k. I'm very surprised because he's got really good links as well. Um, you know, in the La Liga, a lot of people are using the La Liga players this year. You've got a lot of plays you can link to that Spanish as well. I'm very surprised. Very, very nice card. I'd recommend giving it a go. If you do have the coins, you can link him. Try him out. He might be a fun uh, striker option for your team. Enough waffling about players. Uh, let's get into the video. Now, apparently Danny Aarons wants me to review the Charlie's team, right? I mean, let's check it out. By the way, if this video gets to 1,500 likes... Danny Aarons will feature on iRate Teams next week. All right, so like the video if you want Danny Aarons to be on iRate Teams next week. Uh, we have the Charlie's team now. This is how he starts with a 4 1 2 1 2. Uh, and in game, he's playing a three back with Bastian Schweinsteiger as a center back, Tavernier as a CDM, Waman and Sancho, as you should. Uh, he's got De Silva at Cam, and then he's got Huntelor and Jovic. This is a sick team. This team's kind of mad. Uh, it's very different, it's very cool. Would I make any improvements to this team? Probably not. I'll be honest with you. I feel like I don't want to taint this team. This team is really cool. It's very different. It's something that a lot, a lot of people are using in this game at the moment. Uh, it's a lot different to your classic Varane Mendy partnership on the left. It's very different to your classic Carl Walkers and things like that. Um, it's very different. I like it. Uh, and as someone that's used that Red Woman on my Road to Glory account, Bender as well, he's very good at centre back. This is a, this is a decent team. Uh, I would just say maybe try and save up and get yourself a better Bastion Schweinsteiger or just a different player of ECB. Uh, Bastion's not terrible, can play out the back, however, quite slow. I would say if you can get someone a little bit better at that CDN spot, that is definitely, you know, pretty saucy. And I see you've got King Kazu as your uh, bench player as well. I guarantee he comes on and bags a few goals. I'm getting way too engrossed in Danny's memes, I really am. But the next team is coming from uh, Bazaric. Uh, sub off Gwenduzi for fur, just waiting for the new player SBCs to see if I can change my team up. Uh, I believe we're getting... Um, we're getting daily SBCs now for the next week or two. Uh, I believe we're getting a new CB as well. That'd be very interesting. A lot of people are saying it's, uh, it's going to be David Louise because it's a FIFA 13 CB. Interesting. We'll have to see. Uh, this is a decent team. I would say with this team, uh, can you really do much to get some chemistry? But also, not really. Um, maybe you look at someone like... Well, you using Fur. Maybe look at someone like the Balak. Try and complete his SBC. Get him in there at centre mid. As you guys already know, I'm not trying to improve your team. I'm just trying to give you different options. You don't really need Tierney at left back, considering you've already got the link to Erdegaard uh, with Gwenduzi. So maybe get a different left back. Uh, if you've got coins, you could potentially look at Van Anholt. In fact, what you could potentially do here, uh, look at linking Van Anholt and Fur. Maybe using a different variant of the 4-3-3. You might have a few plays off chemistry, but I mean, Fur's coming on, what, five chemistry anyway? It's not the worst idea to look at. You might be able to get him to start on 8 chemistry as opposed to 5 chem. It wouldn't be a bad shout. I've heard terrible things about this Sambia card as well. So let me know what you think about him. But I've heard some stinker things about that Sambia card. Apparently, he does not know where to play it on the field. Massive thank you to Surfshark VPN for sponsoring this video. A VPN or virtual private network has a whole host of massive advantages for when you're surfing the web. You can literally place yourself in a different country via a VPN. It's actually sick. You've been on holiday and you can't watch the football or you can't watch Netflix, for example, because you are in another country. That's because of geolocking. A lot of websites do it. Now, Surfshock will actually allow you to place yourself in the United Kingdom virtually to allow you to watch, for example, Sky Sports or BT Sports, or you can watch your favorite show on Netflix. It bypasses all geolocking. They also give you a lot of protection and privacy online. What you don't know is most websites you use will take your data to give you targeted ads like cookies for example and Surfshark can actually stop a lot of websites from taking that information from you and selling you targeted ads. I know it annoys me when I literally search a random thing that I have. The slightest bit of interest in and then my next 
two weeks of ads are just that product there, 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 and there. And it's like, I don't even care about that product. I actually use Surfshark every single day. And one of the main things I use it for is to get American Netflix. It's actually really, really easy. All you do is click that connect button. And now I'm, for example, in London, or if I go over to New York, uh, connect to New York, I'll get placed in New York and you can actually uh, swap between different countries and get the different Netflix, which I think is really cool. A lot of these shows simply aren't on the UK Netflix. So if you want to try and find shows that you haven't seen before or shows that you've heard a lot about but aren't on UK Netflix, Surfshark, Bosh. You're in New York now. You can use it on phones, tablets, laptops, computers. So if you want both online protection and freedom to, you know, for example, watch online Netflix in different countries, all you have to do is click the link in the description to get Surfshark and use my code HABER to get 83% off and three months free. Yeah, 83% off. It's mad. Great deal. I recommend it. Link in the description to go check out Surfshark. Massive thank you to Surfshark VPN for sponsoring this video. We've got Benji's team now. Uh... Uh, Ney, Wijnaldum, and Marcelo are tradable. You've got 100k currently. Love the videos and the streams. Thank you very much, my friend. Um, ooh, is this one the more HD one? No, they're both, they're both a little bit, a little bit blurry. It's a smidge blurry. So, it, hey, hey, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, he's rocking Mbappe and Neymar, of course. Hey, every player in Foot Champions has got to get that Mbappe and Neymar in there somehow. Otherwise, you're not going to get elite, right? Um, you're rocking a 4 3 one, two. I respect that. It's a good formation. Joe Gomez, not a big fan of, but... I can let you off for now. Uh, why now? I'm sick. Curtis Jones is very good. Bruno is very decent as well at, at the middle centre mid spot. Rooney, Mbappe, and Neymar up top. I can respect it. You know, I've got a little bit of a problem with the Neymar and Mbappe duo. Um, I just think that it's very boring, but it does obviously win you games, right? It wins you games, so I can't really fault it too much. I'm surprised you use Bruno over Marquinhos. I, th I feel like Marquinhos is the better card, but each to their own. Uh, the team's solid, to be fair. What I would recommend, realistically, so, you rock in... Hmm. I was about to say you could potentially look at getting uh, Diogo Jota as your cam, right? And play and start him CDM. You can sell your Wijnaldum and you play Rooney at right centre mid. But that's based on the way I play this formation. So, the way I play this formation is that I uh, have two centre mids on each side that can really hit a ball really well. And Wijnaldum's not got the best shot in the world. Although, he's a really good tracker of the ball. He, a tackler and things like that. He's a good box-to-box. -box. He, he can't really shoot that well. Uh, which is why I thought Rooney at this right centre mid spot might be a better hitter of the ball. You know, cross body, long shots, finesse shots, things like that. And then Diogo Jota for the links, but is a decent cam. Uh, I thought that might be an option. Uh, apart from that, I mean, your team is really, really nice, to be fair. There's nothing really we can do uh, in terms of your team, in terms of upgrades right now, is there? I mean, the next upgrades are what? Icons? Unless you want to upgrade Joe Gomez, who, I mean, it's a bit ratty to use Joe Gomez. Can't lie to you. Uh, you know, I don't want to I don't want to sit here and, uh, and lie to you. I mean, maybe, maybe put Vidic in there just to not be, you know, so rodent-y, I guess. Um, Harry's team next, the 4-4-2. And it's all untradeable. 450k, and I love the content. I mean, let's be real. Regardless of how many coins you got, you're not buying anyone for this team. It's fully untradeable for a reason, right? Um, get the player picks going tomorrow or, or later today when this video is going out. Get the player picks going because they're going to drop them, obviously. I think they're dropping a 286 plus pack. Get those on the go. Try and get yourself a football if they should change this team up, and we'll see what happens. You're not buying anyone. It's a fully untradeable team, all right? And once you go fully untradeable, it's very hard to get anyone in that is tradable. I know that firsthand, and I respect it. Uh, we've got Ben's team now. Uh, okay, then. Uh, <laughs> I'm joking. Um, 4 3 1 2 in game, except uh, Podolski in for Mbappe. Okay, I respect that. And inform Messi for Essien. Wait, what? So what are you playing then? I'm guessing you're playing maybe Balak as your box to box. Uh, Messi, Cam, Podolski, centre mid? I'm guessing. I don't really know. It's a decent team regardless. Very decent team regardless. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's very nice. I, it's very interesting. I'd love to see what, how it plays in game. I know I'm a rat with the fullbacks. I'm not even angry. I'm just simply disappointed. To be honest, no. I mean, at the end of the day, right? I'm, I'm gonna be real. I love memeing it. I love joking. I love messing around, calling everyone rats and whatnot with how they play in game. At the end of the day, this game is coded the way EA have coded the game. It's not our fault that EA have coded the game and for some reason made the only viable way to defend unless you, you play super drop back is with fullbacks. Because long through balls are ridiculous and the fact that a, a fullback has the tackling ability of prime Maldini 
AC Milan. Like, it's stupid. I hope next year what they do is they really turn back defensive awareness and interceptions of fullbacks like they are in real life. Uh, unless, you know, you've got like a wan Saka, for example. Um, and then they, they, they really tone up uh, how how easy it is to win the ball with a centre-back in comparison, because then that'll encourage more people to go with the centre-backs. That's just my opinion. Um, I don't blame you for using the full-backs at centre-back, because at the end of the day, you haven't coded the game like this. EA have, and it's stupid, but it is what it is. I would say, though, um, I know Mbappu's already got ridiculous pace, but put a can uh, put a can to put an anchor on him. And I say that knowing already he's got really good pace, but trust me when I say this, like, you come up against a headline of Lozano, for example, you're going to thank me when he's got an anchor on him. Um, the rest of this team is absolutely phenomenal. I don't think I'd change a single thing, realistically. It is a very, very, very nice team. Um, I like it a lot. Uh, and, and, you know, maybe just save up to improve players. Apart from that, it's a very, very nice team, mate. I like it a lot. Um, okay. Thank you, Theo. Appreciate that, mate. Uh, we have got Sam's team next. Uh, love the content. You've got 400k to spend on this, and you play a 4-4-2 in game with Cliver and CL7 as a strikers, Mbappe and Neymar as wingers. I would say invest in, in a better device to take a screenshot with. <laughs> I don't know why your screenshots turned out like this. I really don't. I genuinely can't see it. My, mon my monitor is too big. A little bit of flex right there, you know. I'm compensating for something, but my, my monitor is too big to be able to see the team. Uh, we've got Ollie's team next, all in tradable. And you play the same formation in game, but you swap Rooney and Sadov. So Rooney's playing Cam, Sadov playing box to box. Uh, Kaká is the offensive winger. I like everything apart from rule breakers Douglas Costa, and uh, I, I've got a few problems with this card. Now this card looks like on paper it'd be a very very nice card, but my problem is this card straight away. Um, already his his weak foot, you know. And his composure is also very low. 72 stamina. This guy does not stand a chance with anyone putting any pressure on him, realistically. He's just... Yeah. Um, you have the option to use anyone there. I'm guessing, as he's untradeable, you've got a connection with him. And I totally understand that. Have you tried uh, that, that Mertens on your bench? You know? Maybe give him a go. And if not, if you can afford it... I'm telling you this right now, if you can afford it, if you got the coinage for it, mate, get this Anaki Williams in your team. He said, he's dropped 10k since we started recording it. Get Anaki Williams in that left striker spot. I assure you, he will not let you down. He's fantastic. Uh, we've got Michael Steele's team next. This is the team that I'm playing right now, but I play a 4 triple 2 in game and I have 1 mil coins to play around with. you got to get rid of Puyol straight away. First thing I've seen, Puyol has got to go. He's just got to go. Now, in terms of who you could put there, you have a million coins to work with. Mbappu is a quality centre-back. I know I'm encouraging it. I'm sorry. Please don't unsubscribe. But Mbappu for 360k is a quality centre-back. You can put him at left centre-back. Off chemistry, he'll play it fantastically. Trust me when I say this. I use Puyol on my road to glory in a five-back. And he is just so bad. He is a bus with about 30 pace. It is horrible. You've got to get him gone. You've got to get him gone. For an icon moment centre-back, he's just a massive letdown realistically another rule breakers douglas costa though i might have even called him diego costa if i did i apologize another rule breakers douglas costa though uh the rest of this team is nice to be fair what i will say as well i'm wondering mm, not really i thought there might have been a way for you to get the baller and uh huh i mean if you can sacrifice robin in your team you could potentially go because you're playing a four triple two you can go and do the new palacio sbc sacrifice robin Get rid of Douglas Costa, right? Then you start your Dybala on the bench with Palacio up top. Uh, and then you can play, for example, Cliver starting at, at Cam uh, to get chemistry, obviously. Um, and then I'm thinking who else you can go with as a Cam. I mean, you can you can just leave, uh, you, you can literally just put Klaas and Hundela, to be honest. Um, they might start off chemistry, but, you know, it, it's not the end of the world, realistically. Uh, if they do start off chemistry. Uh, 8 chem. Trust me when I say 8 chem. As good as 10 chem. Realistically. It really is. Uh, we've got Joe's team next. Who said 1.3 mil. And all untradeable. Except for Oblak, Cancelo, Yuri and Alfonso. So basically like almost half the team. Uh, I'm thinking of replacing Messi or Mbappe. I'm sorry by the way. I know I'm being a sarcastic so and so. Alright. I'm just having a laugh. Okay. I'm just having a laugh. I, 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 if I'm being completely honest with you guys. I find it kind of quite hard sometimes to record these episodes because i do find it sometimes quite dull to sit there and look at teams that look very similar constantly uh so i'm just trying to inject a bit of personality into it and if you don't like it i do apologize but i'm enjoying it you know <laughs> i'm enjoying it uh but this is a very nice team you've got some incredible red luck i would say with 1.3 mil 
it's not a whole lot you really get. I mean, you got the router, you got you got Vieira. I respect it. Um, I don't think really is anything I can I can tell you to improve on realistically. Uh, yeah, I don't think really there's there's anything to improve on. This team is fantastic. You've had insane red luck. Fair play. We've got uh, Nyan Mad's team. He says, The only tradable cards are Akanji and Nuhaus. Uh, nu Nuhaus. Nuhaus is how I think you say it. And Hernandez. Also, Lewandowski normal has the centre mid position, but I changed him to forward for Hundelar. Fair enough. That makes sense. Uh, it's a nice team, to be honest. I see you've got Podolski in there as well. Uh, you're playing a 4-2-3-1 with Cruz at Cam and Podolski at Ram. Huh. I would recommend in this team try and get rid of no house. How many coins you got? It doesn't say. It just says that it says he's tradable. Um, if you can get enough coins to to get together a decent icon, like a like honestly, like a, a base Zola or a mid Zola to to play in this team, then then you can move Cruz down to CDM as like an offensive CDM. Then you can have uh maybe Podolski sitting in behind. Uh, Lewandowski and then like a wide cam that's quite pacey. I know uh, Podolski's at 90 pace, but I think centrally he'll be a little bit better. Um, but yeah, apart from that, it's a, it's a solid team. And I think the last one for the episode is going to come from Owen. Uh, no, it's not. It's going to come from Tom. Uh, this is my team after one week on Xbox. No fee points spent. Got uh, going to get Fosu for Henry and Inform Boadu. Got 1k but 40k by rewards. Henry is probably the best left back you will actually get. Um, to be honest, for the price, I would, I like, uh, it's free, what am I saying? I think he's the best card you can get, though. Uh, obviously, just work towards Gravenberch, get him at right mid, of course. Um, and then I would say, sure, maybe, maybe even, the, just, just get Eredivisie done, realistically. You're rocking Eredivisie, you know, the upper half of your pitch. Get Eredivisie done, get that left mid in from Eredivisie, get the right wing at Gravenberch in, is it Gravenberch or, or Van... Van... No, Gravenberch is a centre mid. What's his name? I forgot. Uh, Van Bergen. Right? I don't know. Anyway, him. Get him in. Obviously, you inform Bwadi that you want. Get him in as well. Uh, then what would I say? Huh, what would I say after that? Uh, got to probably sort out the defence, I would say, after that. I mean, looking at the, the, the sort of team... What you can go with in defense. I'm trying to think of good um, good uh, milestones with good defenders in. What, are the, what even are the milestones? I mean, Eredivisie's all right. Not Eredivisie, sorry. Um, MLS is all right. I think you've got a decent left back and a decent CB. So maybe you work towards that. Get Informa Power at right CB. Um, that might not be a terrible shout, to be fair. Then maybe get Max off chemistry at right back or left back. Huh. It's a tough one, bro. At the minute, like, the hard thing... Obviously, I started RTG about three weeks ago. You just got to play a lot of FIFA. Get the objectives done. Get the milestones done. And then you've got to look at what you've got and then move forward after that. You can't really... You've got to walk before you can run. Do you know what I mean? Um, but that's it for the episode. If you guys have enjoyed, a little bit different to usual. If you did enjoy, please leave a like down below and subscribe if you guys aren't around here. I know that the, the this episode might not be everyone's cup of tea. Uh, I know there are some soft people on the internet as well that just don't like when someone's a little bit different. Uh, if you don't like it, obviously let me in the comments down below and we can maybe try and find a compromise. But I really enjoyed making this video. It's a bit different and I enjoyed it. Uh, much thank you again to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Thank you very much. And I'll see you lads in the next video. Peace.